I'm going to show you how to create videos from just one image. So a few weeks ago, I showed how I used this background, placed a random dinosaur on it, and used the Harmonize filter to blend it into the background. At that time, it was only available in the beta version. I've since uploaded a new video of the Harmonize filter in Photoshop 2026, so if you'd like to watch it, I provided its link in my video's description. I initially tested Firefly's image to video, using this photo of me back in 1971. To start, open an image you like to make into a video. Simply click the Share icon and click Generate Video in Firefly. It could take approximately 10 seconds to load, so I'll speed it up. Notice your image is placed as the starting frame. In the prompt, we'll describe what we want our video to look like. I'll type in, Dinosaur walks as the camera rises up and around it. Keep everything in the scene as they are. If we want Firefly to enhance our description, click the Enhance Prompt icon. This feature automatically refines our short or simple text prompt into a more detailed descriptive one which helps the AI model generate richer and more accurate results. If we want to edit it, simply change it. Under General Settings, we can choose the AI model we want to use. Each one has its own way of interpreting our prompt. Also, they each have their own cost of generative credits, which is limited to your current plan. If you ever want to get more credits, just click here which opens a page that lets you know the details of your current plan and allows you to upgrade it if you want. We can change its resolution, its aspect ratio, and some of the models offer us just one duration while others offer a few of them. Google VO 3.1 and VO 3.1 Fast creates very realistic sounds for the videos. In the Firefly video model, if we want, we could choose any of the simple camera motion presets. I'll start with Firefly video, which I consider to be the weakest, but I want us to compare it to one of the more robust AI models later. I'll make its resolution 1080p and its aspect ratio widescreen. All the models have an output of 24 frames per second. Firefly video gives us just one duration of 5 seconds. We can add sound to it by placing our cursor in the preview window and clicking Edit and Generate Sound Effect. Immediately, each frame of the video populates the timeline one after the other. I'm speeding it up. We can record our own voice to imitate the sound effect we want to control the timing and energy or we can type in the sound effect we want. I'll type in Dinosaur Guttural Sound Heavy Plotting Footsteps. Then click Generate. It provides four audio variations. With your speaker turned on, click the play icon to the left of each audio track to hear it. <laughs> It doesn't always include all the sound effects we want, since in this case, it omitted the footsteps, but I'll use it anyway. To save time, I'll choose Variation 1. I'll double-click it, and it'll automatically appear in the timeline. Then click Download. After a few seconds of processing, double-click the file to open it. By the way, if you want to see how many generative credits you have left, click your small profile picture at the upper right, and you can see it here. To see your past videos, 
click the Generation History icon and click Video. I made a few of them using different AI models and I'll play back some of them showing their AI model name and the number of generation credits needed. This is Marty from Photoshop Art House. Thanks for watching.